What's up guys, Nexi here, back with another video. Today we're gonna do the review of the Xiaomi Laser Home Cinema Projector. This video is gonna contain the unboxing, and the overview, the software overview. We're gonna test the projector with the lights on, with half lights on, without lights. We're gonna test the brightness, we're gonna test the power consumption, the temperature readings on the unit, we're gonna test the sound, and I'm gonna show you the couple of uh, samples in a 4K video. So, let's begin. This is a retail box of the projector and it was inside of another shipping box. After my order I received the package on my door in around one week from DHL. Inside the box first you're going to find the quick guide unfortunately in the Chinese for now. So Google Translate is your friend here, but even so the setup is very easy. You will also get the microfiber cloth to clean your projector lens from the dust. Packaging is very simple, you get the projector, remote control and the power cord. The projector is a very nicely designed and it's very compact and it will fit in most backpack so you can carry around from the place to place. It's also heavy duty product and with a weight of 7 kilos it feels very solid built. And that's because it's packed with high quality components with a very efficient cooling system. This laser projector is a ultra short meaning that you can place it very close to the wall and it will deliver image up to 150 inches. And there is one thing that separates this laser projector from others and that is a very long working life. The lifespan of this laser is more than 25,000 hours. That means is that if you use this projector 4 hours every day, it will last more than 17 years. And if you use this projector 2 hours every day, it will last for 34 years. Now that is impressive. In front of the projector, under the front black grille, there is a 30 watt power, 4 speakers, 2 full range and 2 high fidelity. Remote control is a very simple and nicely designed. It feels nice in the hand and it came with a Bluetooth 4.0. So you get very nice range without need to point directly to the projector and it runs on two AAA batteries which are not included in the package. Here is how projector look underneath. On the right side there is an air intake grill, USB 2.0 and the projector height adjuster. On the top there is a two infrared eye protector sensor and the main laser lens. On the back of the projector there is a three HDMI ports, USB 3.0, audio out, audio video out, optical out, LAN internet and the AC socket. And on the left side there is an air exhaust grill and the projector height adjuster. Right now in my room I have the Philips Smart 55 inch 4K LED TV and it will be nice to see how this projector will compare to my TV in a picture size, quality and overall what experience it will provide since I'm very used to 4K resolution. The first thing that we are going to look is the software, and the moment you turn the projector on, you will notice that everything is on the Chinese. But luckily there is a setup app that I will include in a video description, which will let you to switch and change most of the settings to English, including the input language. You just need to copy APK setup file to USB stick, plug to your projector and run install. After that you will get the settings icon and there you can access the stock Android settings and change the settings to your need. You can probably get even without this if you use only HDMI port and run this projector from PlayStation, Xbox or PC directly. But if you want to get the full potential, I recommend to install this setup app. It's easy and it will make your life much easier. In the general stock system settings, most of the software is now translated to English. You still get the mixed Chinese and English language and I hope Xiaomi will update this Android version with a full English support but even the half translated is not too bad and I had no issue using this projector after installing the setup app. The projector runs on Android 6.0 from the box, CPU is the 4 cores Cortex 64-bit A53 on 1.8 GHz with 2 GB of DDR3 RAM and 830 GPU. It has the 16 GB of eMMC flash storage and the dual 2.4 and the 5 GHz band with the 4.0 Bluetooth. Navigating to the software is a super fast and a snappy thanks to the good specs, fast eMMC flash storage chip, MI interface and the great Bluetooth remote control. In a TV manager app you can clear the storage, uninstall and install the different apps and here is a few samples on the few apps that I have installed on my projector. And I will include them in a video description as well. 
Here you see the projector working with the lights on and by lights I mean the two T8 1.2 meters fluorescent tubes with 72 watt lighting from the left side of the room, approximately 4 meters from the projector and the two 5 watt LED lamps on my right side. With these bright lights on, the projector is struggling to deliver the good picture contrast and the most of the colors are half washed out and not really enjoyable to look at. This is the projector working with half lights on and only the two lamps on my right side are still on. Picture is much better now and this time it's much more enjoyable. This is the picture with the lights completely off and I gotta say it delivers bright, clear image and experience is awesome. I placed the projector just 26 cm from the wall and I got 106 inch screen. If you place it 50 cm from the wall, you will get 150 inch of screen. Or you can go bigger. Now how bright is this laser projector with 5000 lumens? Well, it's pretty bright. I measured the lumens with the S8 from approximately 1 meter from projector and I got around 3300 lumens. And if I get close to the laser source, I'm getting readings over 20,000 lumens. So I'm not really sure how to take this 5000 lumens number. but indeed it's very bright. The two infrared sensor guards doing very good job protecting your eyes from the laser and the power consumption is around 220 watt. Temperature readings on the projector is around 27 degrees and only on the left side where air exhaust is averaging around 50 degrees but a cooling fan inside the projector is a very silent and never pass 34 decibel for approximately 1 meter so you can easily nap or sleep with the projector on. The sound coming from the projector has a very good mids and crystal clear heights with a punchy bass. It delivers awesome sound quality in all levels with a very low distortion even on the max volume. And now the picture quality. This laser projector uses ALPD 3.0 laser light source technology developed by Aptronics. It has the large depth of field lens and is offered 3000 to 1 static contrast radio, so even with a 1080p native sensor with 4K input, it delivers awesome picture quality and there is automatic lens focus so you don't need to manually adjust the focus lens. You're looking at the 4K video samples and I'm not sure is the projector downscaling the 4K image to the native resolution or the pixels are shifting to the 4K because for 1080p resolution this looks very impressive. It's not as bright and sharp as my 55 inch 4K TV, but the picture quality in this gigantic size is awesome and you really get experience like you are sitting in the cinema. This projector is also supporting the 3D because it uses DLP technology so the all 3D glasses based on the DLP link technology can be used and they are very cheap and you can get them for the less than $10. So imagine playing the games in a 3D or watching the 3D movies on this gigantic 150 inch screen. That would be awesome. And I just want to mention that the DLP technology in this projector works in a different way. Image created in this laser projector is by the microscopic mirrors laid down on the DMD chip, where the DMD stands for the digital micro mirroring device. And the number of the mirrors is corresponding to the resolution of the project image. So inside that small 1080p DMD chip, there is over 2.1 million microscopic mirrors with a laser as a light source. So it's a quite sophisticating technology packed inside this projector. Well, what I think about this Xiaomi laser projector and can I recommend it? Well, with the awesome picture and audio quality in a portable compact package with a very long lifespan and with a price as much as half as other laser projector on the market, I can easily see how this projector will find a place in a wide range of application like in the home cinema, presentation, movies, games in a home or in a work environment and I think the Xiaomi did a great job with this projector and I can definitely recommend it. Alright guys that was my review of the Xiaomi laser home cinema projector if you want to order this unit have a look in the links in the video description and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I catch you next time bye bye